Al-Qaeda arrested for kidnapping in Edo leads police to the lifeless body of one of their victims. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Ahad Usman Mohammed has been arrested by the Al-Qaeda Division of Police in Ovia Northeast local government area of Edo State. Usman 30, who is part of a five-man kidnapping gang, led the police to Uben Forest in the area where the body of one of their victims is lying lifeless. According to the police public relations officer in Edo State, Chidi Wabozo, the lifeless body is Shagun Oyekami, 35, who is a settler in the area. Usman and his gang attacked the settlement in Iyoba Camp 5 and kidnapped him. Two other victims kidnapped by the gang are Sunday Kima 63 and Margaret James 45. During interrogation, Usman Mohammed told the police the cow he rest belonged to his dad who lives in Okada. Narrating how he was lured into kidnapping, he said one of them named Sule told him to come to this area to kidnap and promised to give him some money. He said Sule is also a herder. He said they were born in Edo State but they are from Castina. He mentioned Maman, Belu and Sare as other members of the gang. He said they were also herders. Narrating how the victims were kidnapped, he said, they said we should come to a road at the area to kidnap. Two people were holding a double barrel gun. As we were there, I was asked to wait on one side. The two people saw the car of one of our victims coming and they blocked him. We held him and brought him to this forest. Evil is evil. Evil can be done in any area and part of a country. It should be condemned in non-entirety. I want to say this for those who are going to be wanting to bring tribal sentiment into this. Anyone can be a kidnapper. Whether the person is from the east, whether the person is from the west, whether the person is from the north, whether the person is from the south. I just say make a reminder now. Now with that being done, listen these people they do. It is the same issue. Okay, I read about a news where um um, somebody was uh, a kidnapper, rather, I think. One was a kidnapper and one was a fraudster. And the key of that particular, I said the lesson to take home there is contentment. Now, the same contentment is seen. You see here, say contentment. I think we should start saying contentment and patience is a virtue. I'm telling you, contentment goes alongside patience. Because if you are hustling, you are doing your little business legally. I want to believe you should be patient to know that <laughs> your time will come, your own, uh, uh, what's it called, your own time will come while you are chasing the bath. You're also contented with the level you are in. It does not mean you don't want more out of life. It just made, means that you are actually happy with what you have and you are content. Meaning, say, if you're somebody who makes 2,000 naira a day, it does not mean that you have not heard of businesses that can give you 100,000 to so a fifty thousand they did that is not legal, but their contentment you go say instead of you to do the wrong thing to get your money illegally, you're going to be so interested in getting your money legally that you're contented with that two thousand. Of course, people are going to see you as being very foolish, especially if maybe it's just taking maybe taking of bribes. But you are content with that your two thousand, hoping that that one day your hustle could pay. That is how it should be. You cannot hear from the horse's mouth. Herders turn kidnappers in the south. Be your brother's keeper. This is a message from your president always. Mirik Director General, over to you. Ah, Oga, <laughs> Murik, inside this issue, you will not hear them come out to at all. You will not hear them. I was even waiting, you were, I was even thinking you were going to come out to say the Mieti Anla because as far as I'm concerned, the Mieti Anla group, they are a group that... I've never seen them come out and say, oh, this thing where these people do, no good do. They are not our people, who They come out and separate themselves. Oh, they're not our people, though. In case you see these people, they're not our people. We are not supporting what they are doing in any way. But, you know, people should even come out to. So this particular group of people now, this particular group of people, kidnapping is, kidnapping is, is, is not supposed to be tribal. Now, listen to what this person now is saying here. Is your people not in the kidnapping business? Do you forgot that it's your people that started kidnapping in this country? So stop accusing other tribes. You see, I said what I said in the very beginning because because I knew people want to take it to they want to take it to what's it called tribe now. That's why I said tri whether you are coming from Mass Nigeria, Pluto Nigeria, from Southeast Southwest, you know, uh, or what's it called uh, South South. From north, north, central, and 
uh, what's it called, not west. It's kidnapping is bad. And the same way it is being treated in one particular geopolitical zone, as in the same way people come out to fight it in one geopolitical zone, maybe the way kidnapping is, is going to be fought in the south, it's the same way it's supposed to happen in all geopolitical zones, so that nobody will come and say, oh, then they cite their people. That is my own take on this issue. Our people started kidnapping, so you see. This is what you're saying, right? It is not an excuse that all Northerners, sh sh uh, all Northerners or Heather should turn to kidnapping in southern Nigeria. Good man, continue talking. That is the truth. If we know commerce, I can't call it speed is speed. This is the problem we are going to keep facing for a very long time. Whether or your brother do something, that is why I keep saying right over wrong. Whether or your brother and I come outside, can't do it in no good. It is better as a person. That is because ego boomerang and it is not going to be nice. As I said before, you have a child. As you have a child, maybe that child is your only, but all and all, you don't have another. Now, because you get only that one, you can't be shower with so much love. Even say, when him do within the wrong, you know, go correct time. Auntie, you are doing yourself bad because at the end of the day, that child, if that child turns out to be a nuisance, now you then go even point hand to him. And now you go even leave it up. Now you go bear the responsibility. Or now you go bear the consequences of not even training that child rightly. Now you go bear him alone. And the, no, not even alone. The, the society as, as large will, will follow you, you know, chop inside the consequences. Because it's going to be a nuisance, not only to you. It's going to be a nuisance to the um, a community. All right. He only continues where your uncle stopped. He must have made the evil in the villa. He then continues from there. There is always a continuous, a nice one, isn't it? This is not it. People who are hypothesizing that the kidnappers in the south are not hurt men should continue in the defense of evil. We know that Fulani hurt men are the people from kidnapping others and asking for randoms for their relatives. I repeat again, they have been kidnapping before now. I am part of the people that said condemn crime. See, this is not a time to come out and hide under oh, any tribe. It is the southeast, it is the south south, it is the southwest. No, this is a time where we come out as a people. And we treat this thing as it's supposed to be. This person committed the crime. These people committed the crime. They should make sure that these people are being dealt with. Nobody should be given a preferential treatment. All right. This is bad. The land you were born and brought up, you decide to torture your host. Exactly. Very bad. In fact, too bad of them. And they are very heartless and inhumane. All right. For those who believe that they are indigenous Fulani, you can hear directly and know that such thing does not exist. These ones were born in Edo. There were others who had been caught in Ogwa or Yo, who were also born in those places. Please, Fulani is Fulani. There is nothing like our own Fulani. All right, so this that you've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen.